song. Great yes. guy. Five minutes after eight o'clock. Classic Petra in the studio with us. That's uh, Louie and Mark and John are here. We're going to talk to Greg Valson just a, uh, just a little bit, which will be uh, which will be good. You know, we want to answer another question that that somebody um, uh, sent in. Uh, question wise, I'm looking at the uh, the list here. After I put my glasses on, because I've learned that I have trouble reading my own name. Now, you guys have got a world tour coming up. You're going up to Australia, Yay, and yes. Finland, and Germany, and Norway. Budapest, Hungary, and <laughs> Switzerland, and Illinois, yeah. another good foreign country. You're going <laughs> to Illinois, uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah, for Cornerstone Festival. Uh, Sweden, Norway, Mexico City, uh, and New Hampshire. <laughs> and New York, <laughs> no, <laughs> all these far, far away places. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are, are just tr- going all over the place. Are, do you have any kind of domestic tour planned? Not much this year. Not, okay, not this calendar year. Hopefully, in 2012, we'll be doing a lot of yeah. domestic touring. What What is plan? I mean, what is coming up that you can talk about? I mean, because this does say Classic Petra World Tour 2011/2012. So we'll be getting a a second of Volume Two of the Back to the Rock uh, album. That I understand that as well. You're going to be recording more of the classic music. Is that yes? In the future, that's what we plan on doing. Okay. Right now, we we finished up the audio on the TV and live, and we'll that's be putting that together. Yeah, yeah that's the, the DVD. Yeah, that's the, and then that's the that's the priority for right now. Mm-hmm. But then you guys are going to go back and record some more of the the, the, the great old songs, right? Yes, and that'll probably be between or after the summer tour and some of the stuff we're doing. And we've been getting requests in, too, on different songs that people want, which is kind of neat because I love seeing the different emails. And and, and we're getting a, a that is good nice. list going. You find out what, what, the, what the fans are really interested in. John, did you have a favorite Petra song? Oh, wow. It's tough. I mean, there's several I know songs it is. that it I really be. love. Uh, so I'm not one of those that has one specific song. I There's just... I guess different songs during different points in your life that really minister to you sure. or help you or encourage you. So right. there's a couple special, like, I don't know, for Mark and I and a couple others, The Grave Robber has mm-hmm. just really been special in our yeah, lives. That's across Absolutely. the board. With our families. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, for, and for different reasons, too. Louis, I remember your sister. I used to get calls almost every Sunday morning years ago from your sister. I can't believe you brought this up because that's the one thing that I got kind of upset about last night. I was out with my youth group. Now I call it my youth group. My Sunday school class, we played dominoes all night last night. Right. Anyway, I said, this will be the... F- I mean, we've done this interview before a record 20 times. Sure. And every time my sister calls yeah. during this, and my sister's gone. And your, she, your sister's gone I don't have a now. phone call from my sister. Yeah. I love you, Mama. <laughs> but, but, my but mama's she's, listening. I just thought I'd say that. But your sister had lost... One of your nephews, she would lost a son, right? Right. And so she would call and ask for a grave. Sister right. Linda would yeah. ask for a grave robber. Yeah. And so there was this is all kinds of significance to to that song and so many others as well. Yeah. We played it at my my nephew's funeral. We That's played right. it at my sister's funeral, and oh. we played it at my daddy's funeral. Did you really? Hmm. Oh, wow! And Thank you, Bob. Fa- yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, last fall, uh, back in October, my father passed away uh he was 92 years old Mm. and he went on to his eternal reward in october and uh i called bob and said would you send me an mp3 file of of gray robber in a key that i can sing you know uh not something that's up in the stratosphere where greg vole sings (laughs) but, but in a key that i can sing because i want to sing this song at my father's funeral mm. and uh yeah he sent me a file uh and uh, i was able to sing that song for in front of the the uh the church body the the congregation where uh, it was the last pastorate that my father had uh before he retired after 50 years of ministry my goodness uh, in the pulpit and wow. uh, so I was able to share that song with my family once again and, and to the church congregation there, uh, Grave Robber, which, which um, already had a profound meaning for me. Of course. Uh, all the way back to 1983, uh, as a matter of fact, April of 1983, when my mother passed away. She lost her, her battle with breast cancer mm. back in 83. And uh, uh, we were actually on, on tour, on the road, uh, when my when my mother died and uh, and I had to leave tour for a couple of days and 
uh, go go to Iowa for the funeral and then then come back. And uh, that was the first year that we had begun singing Grave Robber. And uh, needless to say, stepping back on stage that night after being at, at my mother's funeral, uh, that song took on a a whole new level of meaning for me personally. It, w- it was very profound to be able to step back on stage and uh, and understand on a deeper level the, the 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 depth of those lyrics and what they really said. Mark, I got to ask, how did you get through it? Because that's going to be a different. I mean, what what a wonderful song of hope. I mean, it's not it's not a sad sad song. It's sung at sad times, but it's it's um. What was it, an emotional thing for you to have Absolutely, to sing? Absolutely, yeah. But but the, the the message of the song, of course, is that we are separated from our loved ones uh, that we know are in the Lord, uh, loved ones that we know served Christ here on this earth. We will see them again, mm-hmm. okay. And not only will we see them again, we'll, we'll spend eternity with them, mm-hmm. and uh, and that's the day when when. Uh, the grave and death will be defeated once and for all. And, and uh, the, the, the lyrics of the song, you know, grave, where is your sting? Where's your sting? You know, where's the bite? Well, it's going to be gone one day. Mm. You know, we're separated from our loved ones right now for, for a time. But uh, there will be a day where we'll all, we will all stand before the Lord and we will be together, uh, never, never to be apart again. And that is that is great hope. hope. That is hope. absolutely classic. Petra in the studio with us. We're going to play another song off the project called "Back to the Rock," and uh, we're going to play more power to you. Coming up next on Mix ninety two nine.